Hello, Nicole Herrick here. I just wanted to take you through a couple of different ways to set up your PayPal account to actually be um, a shipping, add shipping calculation costs to your products. Um, this option is quite handy if you've just got um, a very simple website and you just sell one product off it. Um, if you sell lots of different products, it's much better to have an integrated um, shopping cart within your um, website because it's much easier to sort of you know calculate all the different weights and all the different um, you know some things need postage and others don't and that kind of thing so this is just handy if you've got one or two products that you sell on your site okay so the first way to do it is to log into our PayPal business account um, and please do note that it does need to be a business account if you've got a PayPal personal account, you can't actually set up the shipping options um, individually. But it's free to get a business account, so do sign up. Um, if you've got an ABN, it's free. Um, so the first thing, the first page that will land on once we, we have logged in is the My Account Overview page. We want to go along to the Profile page and just click on Profile page. Okay, and the first tab that it will be on is My Business Info, but we actually want to come down to My Selling Tools. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down and I can see Shipping My Items, Shipping Calculations, and we want to update these preferences. Okay, so what it allows us to do is to choose a currency, choose whether it's a flat amount that we want to add, and then how much we want to add Per price range. So normally, um, you know, in the shops that I've set up in the past, we do it based on weight because that's how Australia Post um, calculates their shipping based on weight. Um, but uh, this works just as well if you sort of if you're only really selling one or two products, um, it's fine because you can actually work out how much Australia Post is going to charge you just by going to their website. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we start with our basic dollar that we're charging in, so Australian dollar. And I would always recommend a flat posted rate um, based on the total amount of purchase because I don't know why anyone would need a percentage <laughs> calculated postage amount. Um, but so we can just go through here and put, all right, it's $5 if they spend this much, it's $10 if they spend this much, it's... 15 if they spend above that much okay and then um, you can actually change these price ranges as well just by clicking edit and then it will allow you to change these so if you only wanted um, you know sort of two price ranges in there or something that's fine or if you wanted to add it more or adjust the actual prices themselves so once we've added in our costs for shipping we need to click save and then we can actually go and do another um, currency so um, instead of sort of giving you the different countries that you're shipping to, it's actually giving you the currencies instead. So whatever currency they're paying with, um, you can put a different shipping amount for them. So I need to press select once I've chosen my next currency that I, I want to assign um, postage rates for, and then it will refresh the page. So I'll go, okay, it's eight pounds, 11 pounds, nine pounds and obviously you'll have to do a, a bit of calculation yourself to figure out you know how much is Australia Post going to charge you and you know just set yourself up an Excel document based on you know how much your one of your products costs how much two of your products costs um, and then that way you can work out you know the price ranges for one for two for three um, and then all the different um, you know calculating all the different costs okay and then go save. So you can go and do that for any of the currencies that you'd like that they have here. Um, there's just the top sort of 20 or so currencies. And um, you can also clear any settings that you've done as well. So if I wanted to clear all these um, UK pound ones, I would just go clear settings. And it clears all those, and then if I want to go back to the Australian prices that I set, I hit press select and clear settings, and it will just take out all those prices for me. Um, so the one problem with this is that it applies to everything on your 
page. So everything that you sort of use your PayPal account for people to be able to buy from you. So you, if you sell other things using that PayPal account and they don't have shipping involved, then it doesn't work. <laughs> You'll have to go and set up a different um, shopping cart within your website. Okay. So that's the first way to do it. All right, the second way to do it is we're going to go back to profile. And we are going to go PayPal buttons, manage my payment buttons. So what we can do is you can have the initial buy now or add to cart button on your website. And then that way they can select, you know, say, two or three of the same item. Um, but we can also create a new button, which is just shipping. Okay, so they can sort of, in the first instance, choose their you know, amount of products. In the second instance, they choose where they're shipping to. And then that adds to the cart as well. So we would make it a shopping cart type button. So it's going to say add to cart along with your products. Um, add your item name, shipping. Uh, and we don't want to put a price in here because we actually want to add a drop down menu with different price options. So I'm going to put a postage and I'm going to say um, Oz regular post. Price is $9.90. And then I'm going to put Oz. Um, Express post. And I'm going to pull 1395. And then I'm going to go, okay, I want to add in um, UK postage. Oops, sorry, I can type. Is a flat rate of, say, $15. And I want to add in postage option for USA. Eighteen dollars, um, and this way it's adding it in Australian dollars, so you won't have to sort of calculate it backwards through to the other um, one. But then you can see over here that it, it just sort of shows you um, the different posted rates that they'll need to choose to add to their cart. Um, they will have to actually add it to the cart, so you know somebody might actually go to your site and just put in the products and then pay for them, and then. If they haven't gone into the postage section, then, you know, you'll have to sort of say to them, oh, hang on, you have to pay for postage as well. Um, so this is a secondary option, just in case, you know, the first option doesn't work for you, because I've heard that on some um, website building platforms, it doesn't necessarily work. Okay, but that's the two options that I've shown you there. Okay, thanks. Bye.